senior minister who sends us regrets that he can't be here this afternoon. And I want to, uh, Emir Quadio and others have said that this is not my first visit to this iconic establishment either. I spent many, many years as a guest of the lady of this house, uh, who's no longer with us, Mrs. McHugh in the front room there, where I listened to the confessions of this parish. So you know now where the grey hair has come from. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't stand on my head, but it got grey. So, but I'm delighted to be here, and I want to, uh, it's a very important occasion, uh, it's a significant occasion, and I want to uh, congratulate uh, the taverns who have taken the imaginative and constructive initiative of, uh, of initiating uh, this, uh, th th this new idea. It's a great idea because uh, the Irish pub, and the Irish tavern, and Irish food are so important. The Irish pub, you know, has been the centre of, you know, um, the social centre of the parishes throughout Ireland. Yes. And indeed, some of the discussions that took place in the Irish pubs were more important than discussions that took place in places that I'm more familiar with these last number of years, if you know what I mean. So it's great to have the Irish pub and to have Irish food and the two together. They're, 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 they're both iconic. And you know, our food and particularly our fish uh, is well known throughout Europe at the tables of the best restaurants in the world and why would we, we, we not have it here in our own area? So you and the other taverns who have come in, I want to compliment you and wish you the best. The last point I want to make without being political is that the government does recognise the importance of tourism and the importance of uh, catering and the importance of the hotel and that sort of industry. And one of the things that happened last week is that, you know, that has been reduced on uh, uh, food and so on and catering and hotel accommodation by 13 and a half, from 13 and a half to 9%. It's a pity we weren't here 20 years ago to do something about the fishing as well. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, you know, we are here now and we're just in for a number of weeks, five or six or seven weeks, and we know that more can be done about fishing but that's another day's work. So again, you and all the others, uh, some of the best known taverns in this county have started this. I hope it's an initiative that will be followed by many others because we do have the products, we have the pub, we have the products, whether it's fish or even lamb. It's the next thing to organic lamb that you have anywhere in Europe or in the world. So it's a great combination and it's an imaginative, an imaginative approach and I just wish you the very best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister.